Scene Script Have you ever wondered what lies in the deepest parts of our oceans? In the unseen depths of our world's oceans, a realm exists that is as vast as it is mysterious. This is a world that remains mostly unexplored, a realm where sunlight is a stranger, and the environment is harsh and unforgiving. Yet in this alien landscape, life has found a way to not only survive but thrive. The deep sea environment presents a myriad of challenges to its inhabitants. The lack of light is perhaps the most obvious. Sunlight, which is abundant on the surface, does not penetrate the deep ocean's layers. This absence of light necessitates unique adaptations in the creatures that call these depths home. Bioluminescence, the ability to produce and emit light, is one such adaptation that some of these species have developed, turning the deep ocean into a mesmerizing light show. Another challenge the deep sea environment presents is the immense pressure. At the ocean's surface, the pressure is one atmosphere. However, for every thousand meters you descend, the pressure increases by approximately a hundred atmospheres. This means that deep sea creatures live under pressures that are hundreds, sometimes thousands of times greater than at sea level, requiring them to develop structures capable of withstanding such immense forces. Food scarcity is another significant challenge in the deep sea. With the absence of sunlight, photosynthesis cannot occur, limiting the availability of primary food sources. This scarcity has led to some of the most creative and ruthless survival strategies seen in the animal kingdom, ranging from cunning ambush tactics to the development of long, sensitive feelers to detect the slightest movement in the dark waters. Yet despite these seemingly insurmountable challenges, life in the deep sea is abundant. The creatures that inhabit these depths display an astonishing array of forms, behaviors, and adaptations, each more incredible than the last. From the bioluminescent anglerfish to the pressure-resistant yeti crab, the deep sea is a testament to the power of evolution and the tenacity of life. In this extraordinary world, life has found a way to thrive in the most extreme conditions. In the abyss, extraordinary creatures have evolved to survive. This dark realm, far removed from the sun's reach, is home to some of the most remarkable organisms on Earth. Among them are the anglerfish, the giant squid, and the vampire squid, each with their own extraordinary adaptations that allow them to thrive in this inhospitable environment. The anglerfish, an eerie predator of the deep, has evolved a unique hunting strategy. In the pitch-black waters of the abyss, the anglerfish uses a bioluminescent lure, a glowing beacon in the darkness, to attract unsuspecting prey. This luminescent lure, an extension of its dorsal spine, is a testament to the creature's ingenious adaptability. Moving on to the giant squid, a creature of legend and mystery, its size alone is a testament to its remarkable adaptation to life in the deep. Growing up to 43 feet in length, this elusive creature is one of the largest invertebrates on the planet. Its large eyes, the size of dinner plates, have adapted to detect the faintest glimmers of light filtering down from the surface, aiding in its hunt for prey. Then there's the vampire squid, a creature whose name alone conjures images of horror. Yet its terrifying moniker belies its relatively benign nature. This creature is not a predator, but a scavenger. Its unique adaptation is the ability to live off marine snow, a mixture of microscopic plants and animals, dead matter and fecal material that drifts down from the upper layers of the ocean. This adaptation allows the vampire squid to thrive in regions where few other creatures can survive. These creatures, each with their unique survival strategies, are a testament to the power of evolution. Their existence in the abyss, a world of darkness and extreme pressure, demonstrates life's incredible capacity to adapt and flourish against all odds. These creatures, each more fascinating than the last, illuminate the wonders of evolution. Surviving in the deep sea requires not just adaptations, but strategies. Indeed, life beneath the waves is no simple feat. It calls for a blend of biological innovation and survival tactics, that keep these creatures alive in an environment that is as harsh as it is captivating. One such strategy employed by the deep sea dwellers is bioluminescence. In the pitch dark depths, creatures like the anglerfish and the vampire squid generate their own light. This isn't just for show though, it's for survival. They use this light to confuse and attract prey, illuminating the inky blackness with a deadly glow. This beautiful yet fatal dance of light is a testament to the lengths that nature will go to ensure survival. Camouflage too plays a critical role in the survival strategies of these creatures. In the deep sea, hiding from predators can be the difference between life and death. The hatchetfish, for instance, uses bioluminescent countershading to blend in with the faint light filtering down from the surface, effectively making it invisible from below. 
But the deep sea isn't just dark and cold, it's also sparse. Food is scarce, and meals can be few and far between. As such, many deep sea creatures have evolved slow metabolic rates allowing them to survive for long periods without food. The gulper eel for example can expand its massive jaws to swallow prey much larger than itself, storing it for consumption over time. Then there are those creatures that have evolved to become the very embodiment of patience. They float motionlessly, conserving energy until an unsuspecting prey comes along. Take the deep sea spider crab. It waits, camouflaged against the ocean floor, ready to strike when the time is right. These survival strategies are testaments to nature's ingenuity. The deep sea creatures have perfected the art of survival in one of the most extreme environments on our planet. From the use of light as a hunting tool, to the ability to survive without food for extended periods, these creatures truly exhibit the extraordinary lengths that life will go to persist in the face of adversity. Life in the deep sea is not solitary but filled with interactions. In the profound darkness of the deep sea where sunlight never penetrates, creatures interact in ways that seem almost alien to us. The deep sea is a realm of survival, where the inhabitants have evolved to establish a myriad of relationships. From cooperation to competition, these interactions are a testament to the adaptability and resilience of life under the sea. Let's consider symbiosis, a form of interaction where two species live in close association for mutual benefit. For instance, some deep-sea shrimp have a symbiotic relationship with bacteria that live inside their bodies. These bacteria convert the toxic substances around hydrothermal vents into food for the shrimp, demonstrating a perfect example of mutual benefit in the deep sea. Moving on to predation, a key interaction in the deep sea, some creatures have evolved remarkable tactics to capture prey. The anglerfish, with its bioluminescent lure, attracts unsuspecting victims to its gaping maw. This cunning use of light in a world of darkness is a stunning adaptation for survival. Then there's the scavengers, the cleanup crew of the deep sea. They play a vital role in recycling nutrients back into the ecosystem. From the hagfish that can consume carcasses in record time to the tiny amphipods that clean up the leftovers, scavengers ensure nothing goes to waste in the deep sea. Interactions in the deep sea also include competition. This usually occurs when two or more species vie for the same limited resources. For instance, squid and sperm whales both prey on giant octopuses, leading to intense competition. These interactions, whether cooperative or competitive, contribute to the overall ecosystem, maintaining a delicate balance in the deep sea. They reflect the intricate web of life under the sea, where every creature from the smallest microorganism to the largest predator plays a part. In the deep sea, every interaction counts. The deep sea is not just a world of wonder but a reservoir of potential. As we dive deeper into the mysteries of the deep sea, we uncover a treasure trove of potential that extends far beyond the scope of marine biology. The creatures that inhabit these depths are more than just fascinating subjects of study. They hold the key to advancements in various fields such as biotechnology, pharmacology, and more. The unique biochemical properties exhibited by some deep-sea creatures have sparked interest in the pharmaceutical industry. Scientists believe that these properties could lead to the development of new drugs and treatments. From bioluminescent bacteria that could play a role in cancer research, to sea sponges that produce compounds with antibiotic properties, the deep sea is a veritable goldmine of medical potential. These creatures also have a lot to offer in the realm of biotechnology. The same adaptations that allow them to survive in extreme conditions could inspire technological innovations. For instance, the pressure-resistant structures of certain species could pave the way for more resilient materials and structures in engineering. But as we tap into this rich reservoir of potential, it's crucial that we do so sustainably. The deep sea is a fragile ecosystem that needs to be respected and protected. Overexploitation could lead to irreversible damage, not just to the individual species but to the overall balance of marine life. Our exploration of the deep sea should be guided by principles of conservation. We must strive to learn from these extraordinary creatures without disrupting their natural habitats. The key is to balance our curiosity and quest for knowledge with a deep respect for the life that thrives in these depths. The deep sea represents a world of untapped potential waiting to be discovered. But it also serves as a reminder of our responsibility to protect and preserve the natural world in all its complexity and diversity. As we continue to explore the deep sea we uncover not just extraordinary creatures, but also extraordinary opportunities.